peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. I never forget when I was skating in one skate park a long time ago, there was a little child skating and they were talking to their friends and he, they, he said, I feel that God created human beings for a laugh. And I remember hearing that and I was just like, wow, these children are already aware and have these kind of thoughts in their head and I realize this is phenomenal and God is just a word some people call it the source of life or energy and for me I've just realized how so many of us we're so serious about life and life is a big joke and for me on my journey what's liberated me is to realize that nature has a sense of humor because we do and we are part of the fabric of creation. So therefore, if we're laughing, then someone else is laughing at us. And a lot of the times I just realize, even on my journey, I always say, life isn't always gonna be smooth sailing. Sometimes there's gonna be things that really shake you, almost earthquakes that are gonna how life leaves some people sometimes if you don't laugh you're gonna cry and for me I realize sometimes in the the comedy is a tragedy sometimes even comedians you find that they're the most serious people in when they're off the stage but at the same time they can just make they can turn that's what alchemy is turning sometimes the tragedy into the comedy and a lot of the times even when we just look around sometimes when I'm walking around I just realized how as human beings, even as a species, so many of us, we're packed in the same place. Sometimes you have these high rise buildings and it's like hundreds of people packed in the same place. And for me, this is humorous because I'm realizing, have we really gone insane? If you look at any other species on this planet, even if you look at, for example, lions and tigers, you have one lion and then you don't find them all together. You'll never see 500 lions packed in the same building. What would happen if they were? <laughs> You're gonna have each one tearing each other out because as human beings, we require space to, to come into our own form, to be, come into our own authenticity. We re require space, but more so we require the right ambience. And even in the ancient Eastern practices, you've got Feng Shui which is all about architecture. By creating the right architecture, you can also heal yourself by even how your room is set up and by all of these things hold a lot of significance because many of us as human beings, we forget that we are in, we're almost in a kind of comedy show. And for me, I always say you have to Becoming lighter is the only way to fly. And for me, I realize that sometimes even when I real, I've come across some individuals who are the most beautiful people on earth, who I just have this resonance with. At the same time, there are also other creatures around. And sometimes I remember I had a friend and sometimes he, he was buying this uh, he thought he was buying a laptop. It was actually very silly of him to do this, but, and basically found out that it wasn't actually a laptop in it. It was actually some bricks. And it was, he was obviously annoyed because at the same time he had just spent so much money on it. But at the same time I realized, okay, this is like a big comedy show. And sometimes it's all about our attitude towards certain things because once something has happened, then it's happened. What matters is the way we respond to it. And also the big joke can also be seen in the media or this great movie which is playing out. Let's find this person in this country. Who is the real terrorist? That's the question people have to ask themselves. And also when you find this whole battle which is going on between good and evil and it's seen in everywhere. But at the same time, there's also something funny about it because a lot of the times we have become actors, all of us in humanity. Even on my journey, I realized that by, they always say, the first time you became embarrassed 
was the first time you lost your innocence. And many of us on this planet are wearing the persona. The persona is through sound, from the Latin persona, through sound, mask. And that's what they used even in ancient Greece. As a ritual, you wear a mask and you become someone else. So the comedy is almost how a lot of us, when we are talking to people, this is not who they really are. This is just a persona, a person. So for me, it's all about stripping yourself, becoming your authentic self, which is when you let go of society's expectations. Freedom is when you have nothing left to lose. And for me, that was the biggest thing. But at the same time, on this journey, I always expect the unexpected. Life is full of surprises. And even more so, I think when you're just walking around, you just see the humor in so many things on a day-to-day -day basis, even how we take life so seriously. A lot of us, we even find getting a degree is going to help us. And I have a degree. Has it helped me? In some ways, but at the same time, everything has come from within. What does a degree mean? A degree means, comes from the Latin, de gradus, meaning a step down. So therefore, when you're getting this degree, what about the other 359 degrees in the circle? You've only got one. But stepping down means that you have to be under the authority of someone else who is creating the system that you're studying under. So why not become the architect? And for me, that was it, because a lot of us, we're, we're under stress. And that's also part of the, the comedy. That's part of the joke. We're stressing ourselves over nothing. We can't realize that we are... Life is very simple. But at the same time, because it's so simple, we complicate it. Because we're always striving to find something more complicated about it. To see that we've been given everything in life. The comedy is that we have to pay for everything which is free in nature. I just say thank goodness that they're not charging for air. <laughs> and they're not charge charging for sunlight. Because if they would, they could. And they would do that. But thank goodness they can't. And it's up to us to realize the humor in the game will often free us of the seriousness. Because seriousness is a disease. And life is a big joke. Passports are also part of the big joke. Why do you need a document to travel to another country? And 200 years ago, passports did not exist as they do today. People could travel very freely. The mere fact that you have to take off your shoes, you, you can't even eat anything on the plane. What's going on? And, and that's how the system is set up. And even leaders, why do we need leaders? Why do you need someone telling you what to do when you're already a sovereign being, which means that you should already be governing your own inner kingdom? That's the greatest challenge we have. Yet at the same time, we're voting for this political party and that political party, not realizing that it's just one big game anyway. Two parties are part of the same team. That's what we call the Hegelian dialect, uh, dialectic. And <laughs> also, when we just look at how people, so many of us, we're just, we feel insecure about so many things. How do I look? Do I have the right clothes? Do I have the right car, the right job? All of these things. I can get you the job you need. People are spending their whole life studying for a corporation, which is a dead body. <laughs> and that's also part of the job, uh, part of the joke. It's also part of the job as well, yeah. And for me, I, I just realized even there was a great documentary. An undercover reporter went into this chicken factory and it was just saying how a lot of the chicken people eat is from other parts of different meat. And the guy working there dropped a piece of meat and the guy said, what's that? And then the guy working there picked it up and said, it's chicken. <laughs> and it just made me really crack up and laugh and say okay this is one big joke 
but at the same time it's beautiful when you can pierce the veil and see through Maya which is the illusion and and you realize that yes at the end of the day this is how we have to see life as realizing that as human beings a lot of us so many of us are seeing things in a different way and many of us have been programmed and that's the thing a lot of us we feel that if I'm awake then everything is gonna be great but at the same time we're governed by everything around us and that's why ignorance can be contagious just as wisdom and for me I'm realizing a lot of the times we came here essentially to play we came here to have fun but at the same time we also came here not to be in ignorance we didn't just give get given this brain just across the road we got given this brain to explore our maximum potentialities as this magnificent being i define a human being as being untapped potential Therefore, we can never really know what we're capable of. We are the superheroes. We're the X-Men. We're the supermen. We're the superwomen. We're all of these things. And for me, it's, it's really about not, <laughs> not getting, not to get taken on the ride. Because there is a lot of tricks out there. But at the same time, we have to stay laughing even if we are hard done by we have to always remain childlike and realize that we are in a game. But at the same time, when we've come to our authentic state, then we can really just realize that we don't have to pretend anymore. And we can laugh, we can play, we can sing, we can cry, because at the end of the day, they're tears of joy. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.